in the realm of weird and cryptic, I'd say I'm pretty knowledgeable. You know, I've always loved the weird stuff in the world, and I also have almost three years of just talking about weird stuff online under my belt. But all of this experience, all of this passion, all of this knowledge, all of this love has nothing on the state of New fucking Jersey, which today's supposed cryptid is from. New Jersey is one of those weird liminal states in which rules of reality don't quite work right. Um, which is probably why something as bonkers as the Mantis Man was supposedly cited there. Normally with cryptids and urban legends, there's there's well an established history. Uh, so an immediate red flag about this story is that until 2004, there are no sightings or folklore about any bug in New Jersey, spare mosquitoes, and syphilis. In the initial research phase of this video, I actually was spearheading this hypothesis that it was a complete fabrication for the TV show Monsters and Mysteries in America, which is basically the only place you can find references to the Mantis Man. But the time frame doesn't match up, so I have to put my smug and throbbing cock away and do actual research. So, the first recorded sighting of this dude was in 2004. Already mentioned, right? Two guys are out fishing near the God Have Mercy on My Soul. Musconetong River, um, if I pronounce that wrong, you're more than welcome to come to my address and shoot me in the head. The blogger who wrote the original posts of, oh my god, we saw a mantis man, uh, claims to have always been in touch with the supernatural, which, am I saying it's impossible? I don't know. I can't know. Uh, but I am saying that it's a great way to immediately nuke any intellectual credibility you could have built, and then there's also the whole providing no sources and the whole thing is just fucking unlikely. Like, you can't just be like, there's a bug in the woods, and then not even give me, like, a little crumb to feast on, and then expect me to take it seriously, right? Theory two. Bugs. Humanoid bug walk round. Maybe humanoid bug? It's not, like, entirely impossible for bugs to get to the six to seven foot range. Such things were entirely common in the Carboniferous period of history where the atmosphere's oxygen concentration was at 70% rather than 20. So maybe a bug vaguely like a praying mantis but bipedal with human-ish arms isn't impossible, but what ecological niche would it fill? What would it eat? Uh, what would eat it? Why haven't tracks been found? No excrement? No corpses, especially. Uh, you always find corpses and skeletons and the stuff. As soon as you bring in basic biology and ecology and just, hey, this is how living beings work 101, this theory falls apart like the USSR in the 90s. It doesn't account for their ability to also just phase out of sight, because that's a thing that Mantis Man can do, apparently. And as we understand it, such an ability just is not biologically possible. Theory 3. Extra dimensional beings. This is briefly mentioned by the OG blog poster, the idea that these things are not beings of this dimension. Conveniently, they leave out, though, um, what kind of dimension these extra dimensional beings would be from, because there's, there's a few possible interpretations of that, but all of them let me poke holes into it. Uh, so if this is a fourth dimensional being, our human brains literally would not be capable of comprehending what the fuck is happening. At best, we just see a spot in reality that is indescribable because our senses can pick up a third dimensional shadow but can't actually see the fourth dimensional entity. Uh, maybe it's a parallel still third dimension, but then that raises a question, what do these bug ass motherfuckers have to gain by being here? Like, why, why would they do that? I mean, maybe they just really like exploring New Jersey. Um, but unless there's a mantis conspiracy that has been masterfully covered up and they've all but gotten away with whatever it is they're doing, this option is also extremely doubtful. Theory 4. Aliens. This one is just plain unlikely and fully divorced from reality because the first thing you have to believe is that extraterrestrials are just roaming Earth. Uh, you know, I like to believe that there's aliens out there and I don't think that it's impossible that aliens have visited the planet, but come on. They're just in the middle of the New Jersey woods. Once again, I have to, just like the extra-dimensional exploration thing, New Jersey of all places, no. Absolutely not. That's like, it's like Great Value Florida. At that point, they might as well just go to actual Florida and give someone fentanyl and see what happens. You know, why New Jersey? They wouldn't. But it's not impossible. Just extremely unlikely. I, when... 
you know, investigating and problem solving, prefer Occam's razor as a solution unless I see the situation is adequately complex for it to not be that. But typically Occam's razor is king, which leads us to theory one. There's a lot of alien scripture and lore that speaks of aliens that look like how Mantis Man is described. But if we do this silly little thing called asking for semi-credible proof, we once again fall flat on the whole aliens thing. So once more, really not likely. There is, of course, also one thing that I didn't mention that is possible, which is just shared hallucinations. Um, but I find the idea itself that multiple people would hallucinate the exact same thing, especially something as weird as a six foot tall humanoid with a mantis head entity, extremely unlikely. Like two people hallucinating a regular ass thing at the same time is very rare. So I really doubt hallucinations as a solution, even more so than the rest. This is in another pen video though, baby. I've laid the facts out, I've discussed the possibilities, Think whatever you want. In a bit of meta-commentary as well, the iceberg I got this from in the first layer has Mantis Man. Like, the very top layer. And for those of you who don't know how an iceberg works, which if you're watching this kind of content in 2023 and you don't, good God, get out from under that rock you've been living under. You know, we've had a whole pandemic. Uh, you know, the knowledge that is the most common is supposed to be at the top, and there's, like, nothing, nothing about Mantis Man. Uh, the TV show that featured this guy in 2015 is almost the only thing that nets any search results about it. And, of course, the supposed interviews with people who saw it, and then the blog that posted it. But for the last, like, almost decade, there has been practically no discourse, not even Reddit threads, which come up very often in Google search results because they're extremely useful. So, <laughs> I don't understand why this is in the first tier of the iceberg um i had to like hodgepodge the story together through research sources that weren't the tv show as well because i absolutely refuse to participate in cable television you know if i am going to watch a tv show and a third of it is ads i'm, I'm gonna kill someone it's just that simple you know how wendigoon once said if i look up in the sky and i see a mcdonald's ad i'm becoming a terrorist uh, if i have more than five minutes of advertisement in my entertainment I'm becoming a terrorist. <clears throat> so I don't do cable TV. It just pisses me off. And I lost my wallet. <laughs> so while in the research phase of this video and uh, in the editing and all of this, I don't have any way to pay YouTube to let me watch the video with no ads. So nothing. But I feel like I did a pretty decent job of putting it all together. There is, however, one other video about the Mantis Man on YouTube that I could find. Uh, it's by this guy. And it isn't the best, but it is pretty good if you can overlook the fact that he is a little too much in favor of the aliens theory. And I'm also not saying this YouTuber is a furry, but I am saying that having Ice Wolf Productions in your video branding is gonna make everyone think you're a furry. Hey Twinklecock, it's me. You made it through the whole video. Uh, did you like it? Yay, nay? If yes, and you're not subscribed, Go ahead and do that. Completely free. I waited till the end of the video to pester you about it. And if you if you don't like what you see, you can always unsubscribe later. Helps a guy pursue his dreams. I'm very passionate about YouTube, and I'm so excited to like do it in 2023. Um, speaking of which, this is the first new video I'm recording in 2023. I'm recording it actually at 1.03 a.m. January 1st. So much love. Uh, I'm so excited to share this new year with you. And I appreciate you all so much for watching, whether you subscribe or you go into the comments to call me, like, multiple slurs. Um, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for contributing. Obviously, as always, huge thanks to the patrons. They fund this whole little scheme. Uh, if you would like to join the Patreon, the link is always down in the description below. You can go ahead and click on that at any time, baby. Now, of course, I have been prattling on too long. The outro is getting to be more than a minute, which, no. So, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. That's why that shit's there. If you want to leave a comment, you're more than welcome to. It does help out. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a great time. Memento mori.